An early morning FBI raid of the CONCACAF headquarters in Miami. The indictment alleges that since 1991, the defendants and their co-conspirators corrupted the soccer enterprise, including fraud, bribery, and money laundering. Around 2004, bidding began for the opportunity to host the 2010 World Cup, which was ultimately awarded to South Africa, the first time the tournament would be held on the African continent. But even for this historic event, FIFA executives and others corrupted the process by using bribes to influence the hosting decision. The indictment also alleges that corruption and bribery extended to the 2011 presidential FIFA election and to agreements regarding sponsorship of the Brazilian national soccer team by a major U.S. sportswear company. Most of the schemes allege the solicitation and receipt of bribes and kickbacks by soccer officials from sports marketing executives both in the United States and South America in connection with various media and marketing rights associated with various soccer matches and tournaments, mainly in the Americas. In short, these individuals, through these organizations, engaged in bribery to decide who would televise games, where the games would be held, and who would run the organization overseeing organized soccer worldwide, one of the most popular sports around the globe. And while at least one FIFA executive served as CONCACAF president without pay, there was little altruism involved, as he alone is alleged to have taken more than $10 million in bribes over a 19-year period and amassed a personal fortune from his ill-gotten gain. Law enforcement officials have vowed to root out corruption in international soccer, indicating that their investigations were ongoing, but would not comment if current FIFA president Sepp Blatter was also being probed. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.